Hello, my name is Jesus Medina and I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Silver Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, so right now recording this. Today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, uh, basically share with you guys what Lara should do uh, against Canelo. Yesterday we did what Cane one of the things that Canelo can try against Lara in order to maximize his, uh, his ability to win that fight. Uh, uh, and I was going to say who I think I sh is going to win the fight. I'll save that to the end. All right. Um, and I, I, once again, my, my, my prediction is unbiased. Okay. I never, I, I don't take sides. And most of the times I go for the underdog. All right. So anyhow, because to me, boxing is boxing, strategy is strategy. And that's that. I don't care if it's my favorite boxer or whatnot. Uh, say for instance, uh, I want to point out uh, one thing is, when it comes to MMA, right? Uh, not too brand anything like that. I know uh, Gilbert Melendez and stuff like that, but when he fought against, um, ah, what the hell is his name? The, the Hawaiian guy, uh, uh, the Samoan guy. I can't believe I forgot his name. Jeez. Why did I, uh, Henderson? Yeah, yeah. Henderson. Yeah, Benson? Be yeah, Benson. <laughs> Benson Henderson. Benson yeah. yeah, Benson Henderson, jeez. Excuse me for that. I'm a little out of it, okay? We've been working now hardcore for about an hour and a half. Anyhow, the point is, no excuses. Anyhow, the point is, when he fought against Benson Henderson, right, when he finally, I think it was his first fight in the actual UFC, um, you know, I predicted that uh, Gilbert Melendez was going to lose the fight if he didn't address uh, Benson Henderson's kicks. I mean, if you guys know Benson Henderson, he has devastating kicking power. Man, he has a huge trunk, a strong waist, everything. I mean, aside from the upper body, and he's a, already a natural wrestler. Uh, anyhow, the point is, is I, ha I knew that, you know, Benson Henderson was going to break down uh, Gilbert Melendez just enough to make him win points, to win uh, the rounds, enough to win the fight. All right? Uh, and if it wasn't for that, oh, man, uh, Gilbert Melendez would have... Trust me, he would have annihilated Benson Henderson. He just didn't uh, um, didn't address the kicking. I mean, he did it enough, but nowhere near enough. Uh, Gilbert Melendez didn't throw a single kick. I think he threw one, and it, it was like a half-ass one, and that was it. One freaking kick, opposed to some, opposed to some better than none. But I'm almost certain it was none. Uh, uh, you can look it over, and you'll see that he didn't kick once. What does that mean? That's one, that's... All those points that he didn't get, opposed to Benson Henderson, all those points that he get, did get, he kicked like 60 some times. That's that's at least 40 some points uh, out of those 60 some kicks, because Benson Henderson only kicks when he knows he can kick in contact. And what does that mean? That's a freaking point. Anyhow, the point is, is just to show you that even against my friend from my hometown, Santa Ana, California, I bet it, not bet, sorry, I don't bet, I, I, I predicted that the, he was going to lose the fight, all for the simple fact that he, I had a feeling that he wasn't going to address the kicks. And that's exactly what happened. He lost against Benson Henderson. Uh, still love you, Gil Melendez. No, uh, no, uh, no, not to take nothing away from you. You're still one of my favorite fighters. Anyhow, the point is, is I always go for the true posture, the true, the true strategist, stuff like that. I don't just pick sides just because I know the person or just because it's my favorite boxer of all time, my favorite fighter of all times, whatever the point, uh, case may be. All right, so now the point is, is I shared with you guys yesterday what Canelo, one of the things Canelo can do to eliminate a uh, lot of us, uh, jab straight. He has a very, very long jab straight that he utilizes very nicely and he gets right out, uh, right away. Now, this is only my opinion. I believe that Lara is one dimensional, right? He is a phenomenal boxer. But what I mean by one dimensional is all his hits are straight down the middle of his opponent, right? Uh, look at all his fights. They never come from the side. They ne he never hits the body most of the time. He never really hits the head from hook wise. I mean, don't get me wrong. He does utilize an uppercut, sometimes that overhand right, uh, stuff like that. But uh, sometimes overhand left as well, but he doesn't utilize it that much. The majority of the time is jab, 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 shrink, jab, shrink. Try the type of combinations. Why? Because he's so good at it. He has that really long reach that he utilizes to his advantage very, very wisely. And he's really quick on his feet. So he goes in and out. Look at the fight, uh, the fight against Paul Williams. All right, Paul Williams has a really long reach. And even though you shouldn't go back, straight back with the top boxer, 
That's exactly what Lana did against Williams. And I mean, Williams was covering half the freaking ring with each straight that he was throwing. All right, and somehow he was still able to evade those long straights uh, uh, combinations from, from Williams. So the point is, is I believe Lara should use that to his advantage. Lara doesn't like to fight on the inside, but that's what he's going to have to do because he does have a devastating uppercut that he hardly ever uses. But when he does use it, at least half of the time has knockout power, all right? I mean, when he does contact, it, it really rocks the hell out of his opponents. But again, he doesn't utilize it that much. So he doesn't like fighting on the inside. Um, and uh, Angulo took advantage of that situation. Out of 320 fights amateur and about 21 fights uh, professional, Lara has never hit the ground before he met Angulo. Angulo noted, uh, and his camp noticed that he doesn't like take, he doesn't like inside fighting. So what does that mean? They took advantage of that. You know, Angulo knows how to, uh, whether he knows how or doesn't. The point is, he does not get knocked out. I mean, look at that huge hematoma that he had in his head when he fought against Lara. All right, he wasn't knocked out, but he was really messed up because he's a freaking walking stand, uh, standing punching bag. But that's aside the point. The point is that. He was not afraid to take a shot to get inside to give those deadly uh, hooks and uppercuts to the body that Angulo has. Well, what did Lara do after all those shots that he took? Only in four rounds, he dropped his hands because he couldn't take it anymore. Overhand left, hook from, uh, uh, from Angulo, just like that, knocked him down. All right, back again on the ninth round, I believe it was. Again, knocked him down, but with a, a, a left hook this time. It wasn't an overhand left, it was a left hook as Lara was fading away that way because Lara backs away with his hands down, wide open, all right? But uh, the point is, is that he doesn't like to fight inside fighting, but I believe in order to beat uh, Canelo, all right, uh, he's gonna have to knock him out for one. Um, I really don't think uh, 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 he'll, he'll win on points, and I know I may sound crazy saying that, but I, 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 I don't know, I just don't see it happening, uh, because I know that Canelo's gonna beat down that body a lot of Lara, so Lara really has to uh, uh, knock him down or knock uh, uh, Canelo out, and yes, freaking Lara, best believe, has the power to knock out uh, Canelo, but the point is, is how he's gonna get in there if he doesn't like to inside fight, that's the only way he's gonna knock out Canelo, uh, those long pop shots, he's not going to knock out Canelo with those, even though he's really good at it, and he will get a lot of points with that. Uh, but again, like I said, Canelo's going to knock his, uh, uh, beat his body down. What do you do when you chop a tree? The top has to come down, all right? So anyhow, so what Lana needs to do is utilize that uppercut to try to knock out Canelo. And the only way he's going to do it, stand over there, please, he's going to be playing the part of Canelo. He doesn't have punching gloves, but he has the mitts so that I can punch him, me being... Uh, playing Lara's part, southpaw, all right? So, again, Lara likes to do that jab straight, all right? <sighs> that jab straight a lot. And he does it very nicely, very accurately. Once again, he hits on this side a lot. He doesn't hit very well on this side. He does contact good enough, but it's more, mostly on this side because it's more natural for him to come this way than to open up, leave himself wide open. Because if he does that against Canelo, Canelo's going to find that opening right away, shoot two or three shots before he's even done bringing back his guard. Believe it or not, Canelo is that quick. You guys, some of you don't even believe that. That's fine. All right, so here we go. So what he's going to have to do, uh, Lara's going to have to take that risk of going inside. The only way he can go inside is not go inside. He's going to bait Canelo to come in, all right, so that he, so that uh, Canelo is reacting to Lara's. Why? Because Lara, that, if, if Canelo's reacting to Lara, 